We are reminded in 1 Corinthians 12 that every part of the body is very important. Those considered weaker are actually doing strong and important functions. And without them, parts like our guts and our bowels, without them receiving healthy resources, the whole system will shut down. The body is a metaphor about the church and society. Recognizing that those in society who are considered weaker are actually strong and important. When people are oppressed and not able to function well because of lack of healthy resources, that will shut our whole system down. This metaphor continues as 1 Corinthians 12, 21 says, The eye cannot say to the hand, I have no need of you. In the same way, neither can I say to the trees, I have no need of you. For when I exhale, they inhale. And these trees exhale oxygen, and I can inhale. The trees are an obvious part of our body, of the earth's body. Soil may be less obvious as a part of our body. Sometimes it's considered as dirt or unimportant dust. But it is soil that contains decomposed matter made from trees, animal, and human waste. From decay, it is transformed into a nutrient source for plants to grow. Plants that we can eat to strengthen our physical body. I call it the poop loop. We must develop discipleship practices that make the connections between our individual body, our social body, and our ecological body. Otherwise, I think we're missing part of the message of Christ. Humans that live disproportionately large compared to their ecosystem are not acting as an accountable part of the body. My work in sanitation helps us think about translating the golden rule into our water systems to do unto those downstream as you would have those upstream do to you. And at children's time, you can read the book Everyone Poops. Getting used to talking about our bodily functions is a great way to reduce shame about what it means to live as an embodied person on this beautiful and fragile planet and to show deep gratitude for the incarnation of God in Jesus.